watches the Olympics, you didn't even know what that was a reference to. Let's talk about tech news. The real athletes are the CSGO pros, and they're about to get a nice gift from LG and AU Optronics in the form of 480 hertz gaming monitors. We've had 360 hertz panels for some time now, but I'm so bored of those. My eyes need more frames. You know, that's what you... <laughs> Give me some more. Now don't expect super high resolutions with these first 480 hertz models as the high refresh rates come at the cost of pixel density. So for the initial production, we're looking at gaming monitors with 1080p native resolution. Well, and... that, what size? That has nothing to do with pixel density, Riley. The pi there's... However, it looks like they will have HDR 400 support if you want a more entry level high dynamic range experience. And we're probably not going to see these on the market until 2023, so your junky old 240 hertz model will have to tide you over until then, which is so cringe, I know. Even Sometimes technology gets better. Intel has said that the chip shortage unfortunately isn't going away anytime soon. In their second quarter earnings report, Intel CFO predicted chips will be in short supply yet again during the third quarter of this year, at least for the individual PC market, though things should get better for their cloud and enterprise customers, which I know is just thrilling news for those of you at home. I'm going into stasis. <laughs> Wake me up when there's chips. Oh, hi, Linus. Linus is really thrilled about today's tech news. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> It looks like the issue is that certain substrates used in chip production are themselves facing a supply shortage and enterprise grade Xeon chips, which are physically larger, are going to be eating up a good amount of what is available, leaving little left over for consumer grade CPUs. Uh, substrates again. We forgot to stock up on the substrates. What, you thought the night was darkest before the dawn? You sweet summer child. The night just keeps getting darker. There's plenty of excitement around the launch of Valve's Steam Deck, but consumers have been wondering how demanding AAA titles will run on a handheld. Like, I don't know if that thing can do 4K, which is fine because the Steam Deck screen is 720p, and one of Valve's coders said on Twitter that their minimum baseline was 30 frames per second. The games Valve has tested have reportedly at least met that standard, if not exceeded it. While 30 frames per second might not sound like much to those of you with high-end GPUs in your desktop or laptop, it's still perfectly playable, assuming you're a lover of cinema as an art form as I am. Subscribe to Carpal Critics. It's a movie podcast. It, it is. It'll be called something else soon. Did you know that, James? I did. You made that decision. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Drops Huge Summer Sale, featuring their PC38X gaming headset built in collaboration with Sennheiser. You can get up to 21% off the PC38X, the PC37X, and the HE4XX for upgraded audio and mic quality in game, as well as Drops Control, Alt, and, not delete, the Alt High Profile keyboards, which feature hot swappable switches and double shot PBT keycaps. Act fast, because this sale is hot, 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 and it ends on July 31st. So check out Drop Sale at the link below. Quick bits, baby. Hear them, then sleep. A leak concerning NVIDIA's next gen 40 series GPUs makes it look like Team Green is switching their manufacturer from Samsung to TSMC, with the new GPUs being made on the five nanometer process. Wow, performance and power efficiency should be very high when those product launch. Do you think there will be enough to go around, James? Crypto has taken a beating lately, but there's a sudden surge in prices thanks to Amazon. A job posting indicates that the tech giant wants someone to develop digital currency and blockchain strategy on the payments acceptance and experience team. And Amazon actually did confirm they want to accept crypto in the future. So maybe don't panic sell all your Dogecoin just yet. This is not investment advice. But sell your Dogecoin. China thinks it has at least a partial solution to the issue of nuclear reactor safety as the nation has reportedly developed a reactor that uses thorium instead of the more traditional uranium. <laughs> Not only does thorium's nuclear waste have a much shorter half-life, the reactor design includes molten salt that can seal off any leaks. Not to mention, it's much harder to use thorium for uh, non-peaceful applications. It's a very, very peaceful radioactive isotope. It's a, you could say it's a pacifist. If you own an Apple Watch, be on the lookout for the iOS 14.7.1 update, which should be getting pushed out to your iPhones and iPads right now. It fixes a bug in version 14.7 that completely broke the unlock with iPhone feature, meaning you'd have to unlock the watch itself in order to use it. It also patches a security hole, which seems more important to me. <laughs> so make sure you apply the update to avoid this incredibly major inconvenience. Is that sarcasm? 
Linus agrees. And speaking of iPhones, it looks like the iPhone 14 is actually going to be made of titanium. <laughs> Dennis is shocked by this. No, that's a yawn, he's bored. The information comes from an investor note that says the change will be coming next year, so we won't see it in the iPhone 13. Titanium has the advantage of being more durable and scratch resistant than stainless steel, which has been used in previous iPhones. Apparently the iPhone 14 will represent a major redesign in other ways as well, but I'll be impressed when we see a phone that somehow features a way to get out of those outrageous DoorDash service fees. I love when I have to read things that are very specific to John and have nothing to do with me. I have an Android. Linus, stop, I'm doing fine. And it's time to end this outrageous episode. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for the Olympic skateboarding match. Ollie, Ollie, oop.